So I was recording. I thought I was recording and then I see that I wasn't recording. So I don't know at what point it stopped. Um, but we're doing various palette. Uh, middle. Transition color first. And because I've hit it eyes, I go above the fold. It's supposed to go in the crease, but since I've hit it eyes, I have to go above. Otherwise, you will not see anything on my lid unless I blink. Anyway, so I was sitting, had my seat, lady all the way at the end, five people come in just before the lights go down, sit. There's one seat here, and then they sat in the seat next to that seat, a whole bunch, all five of them. And I was like, really? I know when y'all chose the seats, you didn't need it. I was, I had already chosen my seat, I know it for a fact. Because there's no seats taken next to me when I had uh, reserved my seat. So the lady all the way at the end, she moved, which I don't blame her. <laughs> so I think they were close to her as well. I'm like, no, no, I picked this seat. I'm staying in my seat unless they make too much noise. And luckily they weren't too noisy. But you know, people talk to each other when they're in the movies. Okay, so I'm kind of going down a little bit as well. But then I'm gonna plenty brush. I don't think me doing my eyes is me trying to figure out what brushes I'm supposed to be using to do them. So that's part of the battle. Yeah, I'm going to put some of that under plenty. I'm just going all the way down. It's a light pink. Pink is the thing. You know, basically you'll figure out even in the clothes I'm wearing. Unless I wear the one shirt. I'm having this other one. I want you. I'm wearing there's two black camis right there. One is one cami, another one's a lace kind of shirt. Um because what I need to be starts at eight. I think the sun will be set by seven forty. So I'm not putting on more sunscreen because of that. Which my stick sunscreen stick melted in the car, and that's how hot it was. I was like, okay. Well, I mean, it probably would have made it easier to put on, but it, it, was a little, it was a mess. It solidified a little bit by the time I got home. But I take the stick so I can reapply, and I'm just like, yeah, this is a mess right now. Okay, so I'm blending. And I haven't done berries look a true berries look since holiday season so for the outer corner i'm trying to, yeah i'm gonna use this one they don't have names on them or so otherwise i'd say this is that name they don't have names is that the one i used or maybe the other one because i'm like it's just not coming out so i'm gonna do my v they tell you to do. There you go. Again, hooded eyes, I kind of start above the fold. I think I went Ulta, but I didn't buy anything. I was just doing some swatching because I was at an Ulta. It had MAC products in it. And, uh, National Lipstick Day is coming up. So I was like, okay. And they have a lippy I want to get if they participate. Because I know they have some products out right now, like Com Bundles. Um, that I don't want for like $42. There's like a lip gloss, a lipstick, and I think maybe a line or something. I'm like, I, I don't want all that and for $42 because I'm trying to limit I have money I'm trying to set aside because I did a lot of overtime this last week and a half, last pay period. So I'm like, okay, this is how much I'm going to spend on buying lipstick. And I'm not really in my bold, bright lipstick era. I say that, but then you'll see the lippy I wear today. It's a whole different thing. Um, but, you know, I like kind of browns as well, or softer pinks, stuff like that. Then I'm going to kind of sweep a little over this one. Close my eyes to see how above that is. I'm just going to go like that. 
and then I do a little over here too. I think they have it, they call it a halo. That's what they call them. Anyway, so like one of the lippies I wanted, I swatched it and I'm like, that's not really the color, how it looks in the pictures. But I've been looking at it and I was like, I wanted that one. And then I decided another one that was kind of a different one I wanted when I first swatched it before. It didn't look like what I wanted, but I think I'll get instead of the one I had been looking at. Basically, it's uh, Sweet Cinnamon was the one originally I wanted. And then uh, Wild Sumac their their lip blurs or what products i'm looking at like i said every ulta doesn't have matte products so it's like okay if i'm in an ulta that has them i mean some of them they just have the, the mascara they don't really have and you'll always find that um we call it uh setting spray to fix it and i'm gonna take a little bit of that light pink that we were using before Kind of blend out the edges. I think eyeshadow is always about blending out edges. Which right now looks a little crazy. I had seen the look I was going to use for uh, Lethal Weapon 2's on now. Um, it had like the pride colors in it. I was kind of interested in that and I was like, yeah. I don't see that happening. Okay. So with that, so the reason why I use, that's why I use the berries for this one. I'm gonna keep this around because I'm gonna need it for under eye in a little bit. And of course, put this somewhere where it's easily accessible. And then with the Fula, I don't know why I keep these. I'm gonna put that over there though. I'm gonna keep it. Is, I wanna use this middle one. And they have names. I was watching a video, a Fula palette video on YouTube the other day. It is in white. So without my glasses on, and I'm not the only one, you can't tell that there's words there. So the one I'm using is gonna be Aziza. And I'm like, unless you got like 20 year old freaking eyes, and then with lights on, there's no way I would have seen that before. So Aziza is what I'm using. And then later, because I'm going to forget, I'm going to use Fez. Oh, because I'm not putting my glasses back on later. Um, so we're going to go with Aziza. Uh, I'm going to use my finger for that. And that's the shimmer. So I'm going to go higher. Because the hooded, you can't see nothing. And then over the lid, entire lid. Some people use a brush for the shimmer shade, other people just know it's easier just to use your finger. Because I usually start with a brush, and then I realize it's easier. So, it's kind of going all over, I'm kind of starting from the side, more so. So, I can't see, hopefully you see it. Did I dim my lights this time? No, I don't think I did. It's still daylight. I see the sun right there. So, yeah, it's above the fold. I can see the shimmer above the fold. That's all I care about. And I'm not going all the way to the end. And then let's get the other eye. Because you're doing my eyes. Cause some people like take hours, not hours, but it look like good half hour I, I don't like taking it long for my eyes so you think you know i do more simple looks but sometimes i like because blending you spend most of your time blending that's why it takes forever i got some right there under my eye because above the fold as far as one of my friends i grew up with until he disappeared in like high school He's in the state. Uh, I think he's in Bisbee right now, visiting family. I'm like, um, so I can go down sometime this month to go see my mother. Uh, but of course he's gonna be. He's there this weekend. Where I'm like, I'm not there. 
which I, he's been back to Amazon a few times and I miss him every time. And he's in LA now and I'm like, I don't really go to LA that often. I'm trying to think, last time I was in LA it was early 2000. And I have other friends there and let's see, I got all that right there. I didn't want all that right there. Okay, let's wipe off this my finger for the shimmer and the pink. Okay, and then take the blendy one. And I don't know how well, I just realized I didn't say where I'm going. So, uh, someone I know, it's her birthday. In celebration, we are going to see a drag show. I've never been to a drag show. So, I'm like, I'm always open to new things. I'm like, okay. Awesome. Because before, it's going to be one of the gay bars on Melrose Curve, which I've been to one of those before, and I, I know the cut. they're over there. But So, we're going to Charlie's. I've never been to Charlie's. I've passed Charlie's. They have a, Charlie, a Chaco truck on the north side of it. And people always talk about, I'll get the tacos on. I'm like, I haven't gone. I just haven't been to Charlie's. And I think it's a male gay club from photos I've seen and from what I've just heard over the years. Um, but, it's, you know, it's I've passed it a million times. So I was like, oh, okay, I can finally go see it. So that's cool. Um, and then a drag show on top of that. And then somebody else I know wants to go to a drag show, but I, they just said last minute, it's a drag show. That's what we're going to. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I didn't know. So I could be like, uh come <laughs> okay so i'm trying to deepen this outside again because some of that shimmer okay and then i'm going to take the wet wipe that i have I was, the other thing in that Ultra I was in, they had nothing, no makeup removers. They had water and alcohol, which you can't, that's, you can't get some of the makeup lipsticks off that way. I was like, that's, I'm like, that's horrible. And then they had Spick and Span. I think they maybe cleaned the area, but I'm like, why are there bottles of Spick and Span around? You keep, you're not using that on your skin to remove makeup. If they that, so I'm like, um, somebody needs to talk to them. So I'm just doing that to clean up a little bit and to get this shimmer that's escaped under my eye that I don't want under my eye. There we go. Because even though you can use concealer to clean up, um, that shimmer is going to be all over my face if I don't clean it up now. I'm not doing too much on this side. Um, everything will take care of itself right there. Okay. So those are the eyes um, for now. And then I have more to do, but it's kind of after camera stuff. So this is a nice, healthy sheen. I said it's the light right now because my skin is not oily at all. This is literally just... Okay. Now let's get to the face. Wipe off my hands. Everything's good. Okay. So what are we gonna do? We're using Danessa's uh, beauty oil. Apparently they now have it at uh, Sephora. I didn't realize they didn't have it there before. It's online only, which makes sense because people waste the hell out of that. It's $30 for a bigger bottle. It's about this big. Most people would mess that up. Um, so we're gonna hydrate the skin. To replenish. We're not used a astringent earlier and just adding moisture it's dry oil remember so since it's dry oil it's not gonna make you oily it's just to keep you hydrated we yeah, are so I'm going to a drag show and then I was thinking about what to wear I even googled what to wear but I guess they only have a, like bunch drug drag show bunches and I'm like this is at night I don't need to wear a dress or what have you if i went during the day yeah i would definitely wear a dress um but at night and it's it's also like i said a, a bar on a night 
don't even really watch it's kind of a club atmosphere i yeah i don't need to wear a dress i'm gonna be comfortable jeans nice little top okay so let me screw that on because i see it right now it's not closed Put that out of the way and you think oh it's gonna be it's like 100 and whatever why would you put on makeup uh we're gonna put makeup on it's just gonna be light and this is smashbox of course and i still got some life left in this one I just want to zone and wrap my mouth. I realized that was no one in my tea zone. Somebody who has an eye primer. Somebody had supposedly Fenty has an eye primer or under eye primer. Somebody else said what? I was not aware of this, and you can't find it in store, so I don't know if that's true or they would just they got something from back in the day that doesn't exist anymore so that's that I'm gonna move that out of the way as well I'm going to tomorrow's Sunday usually I go out everything's all over my desk and then I try to put everything in the stack of all the products I used so when I put it in the description but tomorrow I'm running my errands today I didn't end up going to the grocery store I just need to buy some few things so I'll just wake up early enough and we'll do that. Okay, so hydrated, primed, and we are using NYX Blur Foundation, Tint Foundation. So I'm going to put a little, like I said, we're going light, so I'm not going to put as much, and that's enough. It did a little hiccup there. I don't need any more out of the way as well and yeah that's it, definitely so massage that into the brush i didn't powder damn it i'm not trying to make this video longer than it needs to be but i did not powder or spray so let's do that because i want to make sure all this stays on Start with Urban Decay All Nighter, the little bit I have left. And I see little spots, which is why. Okay, so this is all massage. So, whatever's on this brush is what we're using. somewhere and somebody had like all this makeup on it was during the day and I was like it's been a hundred and like fifteen hundred nine this week and I'm like why are you out in the streets like this it's hot it's okay you don't need to wear all that see so, yeah just, and I'm gonna use this because it's even though it's gonna be hot it's sun's going down, so I won't be sweating <laughs> like I usually do. And then it's matte, so it's going to not be hydrating, moving all over the place. And it evens out my skin tone. Even it's one of the foundations that I said I'm using this summer. Because, like I said, like, I plan to go out at night if I go out anywhere to any function. And so I went matte foundations. So, yeah, that did use up what was on my hand. I just had to spread it out with the brush. So that's why I'm wiping my hand off right now. I used a sponge. I cleaned it earlier today. It's still slightly damp, surprisingly. Just to push it in and get any excess. So 
realize when I do this, I don't do any kind of logical direction. And see, some comes off. It's light, I still see a little bit of my freckles. Okay, so I'm done with that. Those were basically summer proofing in my face. Okay, concealer. I was like, where's my concealer? So whenever I use the NYX Blur, as we know, I usually use the NYX concealer. Well, it came out right there. So I don't need to dip anymore. dipping anymore. I can try and take some out. It's a little sponge. Prime day. A lot of people, I guess, these were on sale. Uh, what did I get for Prime day? I got a cleanser. That's the only thing I got Prime day. I was going to get my sunscreen that I like. 30% off, but it sold out very fast when I came back the next day. So I should have just got it that first day. But the cleanser is awesome. It's like a little bit goes a long way. So you just put a little bit on your hand and wash your face and, and you got your whole face. You're, you're good. So, the song Wrecking Ball, Miley Cyrus was on the radio. I haven't heard that song in a while. It's been in my head ever since. And I like the song, the sing to it. I like singing it. I don't sing great, obviously, but in my car, yeah. So anyway, it's been stuck in my head ever since. So even when I'm sitting here, think about, I didn't mean to start a war. You should have let me in, let me in. I came in like a wrecking ball, wrecking ball. So, yeah, it was a good song. And it's not so, the video's not really in my head, it's just this, the words. Okay. It looks good. Okay, it's simple, not too bright, kind of. It's just doing this job, being a concealer. Do kind of massage it just not all over the place. It's all over the tip. Okay, so we can massage it in evenly. The day was it? It's so hot. I was on my way home from work and it's hot. Driving into the sun. Um, I was cranky. I, I know I was cranky. I, was, I went to Walmart afterwards because I needed another jug of water, which they now sell jugs of water, drinking water without the handle. So the only way to carry it is like this. Mind you, this is like a gallon of water. Um, they only have shopping carts. They don't have hand baskets anymore. They stopped that around COVID. And I'm like, you can bring them back now. It's okay. Target brought them back. Y'all can bring them back. It's just why Target's elite. Because usually I only buy enough things that I can carry. So they were messing with that because that jug of water is very clunky. And then I had some paper towels, some paper plates, and cups. Because I had run out and had been doing a lot of dishes because of that. Which is fine. You know, I'm an adult. I can do dishes. I don't use my dishwasher, obviously. It's pretty much a drying rack. 
My mother knows that. When she comes to visit, she uses it. I do not. Okay. So that is set. And then let's go into bronzer. Should be place as usual. Why do I keep forgetting to bring... Since I'm not contouring with contour. I went a different look with this one versus using my minted. Which I'll, I'll use the minted. Um, I'm going someplace happy on Tuesday. Um, so I'll use that one that day. For look I'm trying out. Because that minted one seems, it's bronze is warm. It's for warming your face. And that minted one definitely does that. It seemed kind of heavy, kind of, but it's it's different. They're just I I, I noticed a difference. I can't tell you how to describe the difference, but I I've seen it. I can tell it. And it's usually like application when I start with the forehead. That's where I can see it the most. Nothing against either of them because they're both awesome black beauty brands. Okay, let's do nose. I know some people said they're going. Um, I don't know if they're still going once they change it to. Because before it was, we were just going to gay bar. And now it's gay bar with a drag show with a $10 cover. And I'm like, really? I could just buy a drink. So now I have to pay a $10 cover and buy a drink. A drink doesn't mean necessarily alcoholic. It just means I well, can drink water. But they'll give you probably Phoenix water. We know how Phoenix water tastes. Which is... uh. I'm a water snob. I'm, um, yeah, it won't be up to my standards. Okay. Tell me how that looks. Okay. And then let us. Set the rest of our face. Else it doesn't feel that warm, but I don't think I ever set my eyebrows. It's like, can I have a go with that? Putting blush on. Is today gonna be that day? No. I was just looking at him like, yeah, there's no way. Um, I'm going to put a little setting powder on my eyebrows because one, I don't remember if I set them. I might have, but but really, this is bothering me. Okay. This what's left on the sponge. Bring it into the eye a little bit. I something with contour. I'm good with contour. And I'm using the contour to go up in the area. Okay. So we are using Danessa Myrick's Prima Donna. Go with our pink theme. I had a salad for lunch. I was just thinking about that because I need to take a mint with me. Um so I was like, I need to have food in my stomach. Um, I was just thinking about that right now. Don't ask me why. So let's... So I put it a little bit. I dabbed in there and then I put a little on my hand. So it's softer. This is how I was doing it before. Which, you know, depending on the day, I'll still use my fingers and dab it out, tap it out. And the nose, like usual. It also makes it so, to sanitize less. I 
you know, I wash my hands before I do anything. Well, the side is definitely a little more pink than that one. Oh, I guess Barbie comes out next week. This pink made me think of Barbie. And I'm like, eh, I really have no interest in seeing it. I'll see it eventually. It's probably be on T it's gonna be streaming in like three months. But people are doing Barbie and then Oppenheimer right afterwards. I don't know how long Barbie is, but Oppenheimer is apparently three hours. That's a long freaking movie going. Me seeing Dead Reckoning on Tuesday. That movie is two hours and forty three minutes. Um and I had to drink water while I was in there because I just got a water cup. And I drank water and while I was in there because we have a extreme heat advisory until sometime next week. We've been having it all month. So I was like, I can't not hydrate, which of course is going to make me want to use the bathroom, which I'm not paying to see a movie again. So I didn't want to miss anything. And then about 30 minutes towards the end, I was like, this movie has to be ending soon. 30 minutes towards the end, that's when I started to realize I have to pee. And I was like, I'm not going to. I held it. And I like to sit through credits. So I sat through credits and then finally I was like, okay. Okay. I started moving down the steps, but I watched all the credits. And by the time I got to the bathroom, I definitely, I was, I was, I had to go. Um, but yeah, I want to see Oppenheimer as well, but three hours. It's like, you can't drink anything then. Or well, they need to tell people where's a good point to go to the bathroom then. I'm going to wipe that off my hand. And it's with, um, I can hear and I can see his name, but the last part of it. Um, it's a Christopher Nolan movie with, um, what's his name? Cyril, sorry, I don't, I, I don't put his name up. I feel so bad. I know his name. It's just escaping me right now. Um, but I'm glad he has a lead because he's in a lot of Christopher Nolan movies. And it's like, oh, okay, you finally have the lead. And he's such a good actor, too. Um, okay, so it's light pink. It's nothing too overboard. And then what are we going to do with that? And then I'm going to... Yeah. You notice I said, yeah, and then immediately started spraying. <laughs> There's a setting spray that says keep your mouth and your eyes closed while you should anyway. Um when you apply it and I'm like they make it almost seem like it's going to kill you otherwise it, I was just like okay let me pat some of that out it, they just to make it seem appealing to use our setting spray so Okay, I'm trying not to use any more of that because sometimes she laid us. My mother just texted me. I don't know if she went to go see something. I don't know what she went to go see. This random text to me sometimes. Um, okay, lips. And I took up too much primer. Anyway. Sorry, oh, oh wow, yeah, I need to go. I don't need to go. I'm like 10 minutes away from this place. But because all the extra, taking more time than I usually would take. It's solid. But yeah, I mean, it actually looks kind of cute, the Barbie movie. So yeah, I'll see it eventually. And then Oppenheimer. That's a theater movie, especially since it's, I guess, in 70 millimeter. So they're like, find the biggest theater possible and takes 11 reels. Um, if you're older, you know what the reels are. You know what they're referring to. And so people are getting tickets to IMAX. IMAX is even more expensive. And you just want a place with good sound 
in good quality picture. And I'm like, I can't really go to my closest Hawkins. I'd have to go to one of the bigger ones like Cinepoint um, with the Cine screening or IMAX. And it's three hours I want to have very comfortable seats. Because the one by near me, they say, oh, we got the comfortable rocker seats. They're the same seats. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh my, y'all didn't do any renovations. I don't know what y'all talking about. Those are the same freaking seats. They are not the bigger seats. And better lighting and all that. And the sound quality went down. Because they used to have great sound at the theater I'd go to. And then, during the pandemic, they did whatever. I don't know. And... sound hasn't been the same. So I think last time the sound was good was during Tenet. And that's a movie where you need it to be. It's not a loud movie. At some point. Um, yeah, the sound quality just went down. I'm like, but it's closer to my house then. Me driving to the one of the other ones have better sound quality. When I want to just go after work, you know, versus driving someplace where, we're. and then they closed the one that's at Metro Center because Metro Center closed down. That would have been the other one I would have went to. Um, because I still haven't seen Indiana Jones because the hours they're playing is like usually just before I get off work or after six where you have to pay more money. So I'm like. So we are using KVD, it's not the EXO vinyl. Bear with me. Um, I haven't used this in a while. Um, I did try it on last night, it stays on. It stayed, I mean, it's trans, not transfer proof because it's vinyl, it's not the Maybelline, whatever. Um, so. If you kiss something on a glass, hand, whatever, it's going to come off. Then whatever's on your hand is not coming off. It's staying there. I tested that out last night. So, I think last time I wore this was, I want to say last year, when I went out with some of these people. So, it's red. Well, it's actually pink. It's called Hollyhock. So, I'm starting that way. And I'm extending. So it's not a mat at all. Now I use the brown lip liner because it's a better lip liner to use than using the red. So I'm just kind of, it's basically a placeholder. It's not really meant to. And yes, I see it's on my teeth. Let me wipe that off of that. That up there. That much came off. And then I, it's like all over my teeth because I didn't do that before. Should have to reapply it on. Okay, let's wipe this off my hand before it dries down because I 
had it on my hand last night and it wasn't coming off with regular soap and water. We definitely need makeup remover. Um, so later when I come home, I will be using the vanilla code balm that I have that gets all my reds off. Okay. So the lips are done. Slight pink on the cheeks. Let's finish these eyes and then we can go. I know, that's a weird alarm. What time did I set that alarm? Because, yeah. Okay, so under eyes. Where's my other one? Just bring it down under. Usually I usually use a tape method, but then there's always this weird line, and then I don't always get it blended in blend them together very well under so I'd gotten this I think it was like five dollars some more fee M443 it's very thin I got it specifically for this reason. And this was months ago when I got it, so. I just don't always remember to use it. This is what I usually do, and I end up looking weird under the eyes. using the ink blot eyeliner we are doing lashes today I said long video I'll probably cut that up and I need to use this more often because obviously I don't use it a lot please push for that one did I open down my edges with concealer I did not No one well, we need to practice more. Nobody should be that close to my eyes anyway. But yeah, I definitely need to use this more because I, I like I to put that down for a second because I need to squeeze. This brush so that it's thin. Not that I'm wiping it off, or product off. I just so I can do this wing. See, because that wing is kind of thick. Okay. There we go. Sometimes you just you're approving yourself. You're like, okay. It's always figuring it out. It's all we're we'll doing is just figuring it out. Okay, do the other eye. Let me squeeze. Because it's always one eye is better than the other. It's just, yeah. Should have squeezed from the beginning with the other one. It's really just opportunity one. Just, I'm sorry, going to a gay club and uh, a drag show to be a little extra. I don't get to be a little extra all the time. Sometimes you may think I am, but I love the pinks. I love the reds. It's an opportunity to do that and be outside a drug show, drag show, not be 
uh, the most extreme or extra person in the room. So told in two different ways. Hey, okay, there's still some on there, so it's like, oh. Um, I'm gonna put that down for a second. Stick that my lips. Yeah, the brown liner going over it. That's a good idea. Okay, so we're going to do this. Let's put this over right here. Yeah, I really don't. This should last forever. And I need to use it more often. It's because that one is thicker. All around. So again, wrecking balls in my head. So I'm coming in like a wrecking ball tonight. Like I said, I'm just... Makeup should be fun. The opportunity to be extra. Yeah, that wind just looks awesome. I'm going to stop right there. I'm trying to dab all of that out. It's a lot coming off still. And then I'm going to set this one side, which I probably don't even have to do. Because it's supposed to be waterproof, but just in case. So I have oily lids. And if I'm sweating. And then I'm going to set part of this other side. Now some time I'm just trying to make it thicker. To do back in here some more. Not too much of that side because it's so perfect. Well, this side is not. Okay. So you get to watch me figuring this out. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to use touch that anymore. Put that away. And then concealer. I have a brush. I can use for concealer. Well, I'm going to use this too. Get what? And I brought in some missler if I need to use that. Okay, concealer. My hand. Like I'm sitting how I was before. So I'm 
I want it to be done by now. Sometimes you just gotta use miscellaneous water versus um, trying to conceal. Now that's my face. So it's like a little speck right there. Now I'm like, that's one of my spots, my freckles. So it's better. It's not the same. But it's better. <laughs> and then... Okay. Now let me set... Oh, whatever is left on there off. I'm going to use black eyeshadow to set that. Again, unless somebody's all up on my face, they're not gonna notice. It's not as crisp. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then, cause I, so my under eye there. I told y'all this was gonna be a long one. The sun's going down anyway. Usually I take a photo outside, but once I finished by seven, it wasn't going to happen anyway. And the lighting's horrible on the steps at night here, so. I'm better. Is she okay? Yes, I'm okay. It's just adapting, figuring it out. I'm like, oh my god, it's not happening how I would like it to happen. Okay, and we are doing lashes. Let's put that away. So I need to pretty much move everything away from me. Do you? Yeah, nothing's coming off. Again, I can never see. If y'all can see that nothing's coming off. So it's to me forehead is a little bit so it's not like me trying to fool you, it's I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Um okay, so that's that. Let's do lashes real quick. And then we can go because we need to change um to make a final decision on what I'm going to wear. Using the kiss glue. Oh, the ones I'm using are a little black dress. The Kiss Lash Couture ones. Um, they had them on sale. Buy one and get one half off. I'd rather buy one get one off. So, I, I just bought one for the reduced price versus... I get one another... Am I missing? Touch how long I've been haven't been wearing lashes. I'm like, what I could do in the meantime is put some mascara on. Some people put the mascara on. 
under after they put the lashes on to join them I do not well I could have put my earrings on but we all know mom putting my earrings on is usually one of the last things I do you know today changing is going to be the last thing I do because I don't like rushing when I'm doing these that's why didn't want to be this behind because I guess the show doesn't start at 8 30 but meeting I guess it's like 8 like I, said, I don't live that far from there and I trim them shorter because I have smaller eyes and Sometimes I trim them too much, but sometimes it's fine. It's been a while. I realize it's focusing because I have something in front of the screen and the camera. Yeah, I still like the color. Okay. Is it on there? Yeah, it's on there. So that so it's, so it's got a little pop without being too much. Now I have a pair of Juvia Place ones that royalty, which I haven't worn yet, that were perfect for the dramatic. Um, I just haven't worn them yet. I'm gonna have to trim them first as well. I got that a couple of lash sales ago. Mm. I put it down before I was ready to put it down. Okay. My lights just flicker. Because one is kind of up on end. Sticking to my this is to say I wasn't get happy that I got it that fast. <laughs> doing right now Oops. pushing one side and then so it's on there but there's lash glue on the lash. That's why I was like, okay. So it's kind of like, okay, let me get some. I was going to say, but like, there's no way these are going that perfect. Did. The thing is because it was in my mind, I was thinking that is why <laughs> I just realized I didn't use my towel for anything. Okay, so it's on my eye or 
my eyeliner is what I mean. And now I'm getting hot. So let, me, let me use my other hand that doesn't have anything on it. Let's see how sticky it is. So as long as nothing blows. Nothing's gonna stick to these lashes. Okay. So those are my eyes. Let's put that over there. Wipe off my hands. My face is a little moist. Nothing else is on the brush. It's not moist, it's just because I used that the um what do you call it? Make sure my blush is back on. Um, all nighter, which leaves radiance. That's why I had to make sure that it's back on now. Okay, so let's put the earrings on. And then we're gonna change real quick. Let's put this glue. So I need to leave like five minutes. So we're doing these. Of course, not even this is going on easily like it usually does. There we go. Oh, I'm going to wipe my hand. Because that was going to get on the shirt. And I'm not wearing the shirt, which is why I don't wear the shirt. That I usually plan to wear. My mother sent me a, a cape that can use as makeup cape or a barber cape is cool because then I could just wear what I'm going to wear and not to worry about stuff getting on any of my clothes. So these are my earrings. Almost my final look. Give me one second. So, the lace top. So this is my final look to go to the drag show tonight. Celebrate a birthday. So, hopefully I'll have a great time. So everybody, have a good night.